While working in Singapore, I, I had some trouble in my business, so I reported it to my bosses in Pyongyang, and I traveled to Pyongyang to find a solution for that. And several, several of my bosses you know, told me that uh, South Korean, Japanese, and American intelligence are very active in Singapore, and very info important information is being leaked from our rep representative office. And I took it as a signal that uh, I would be in big trouble. So I traveled back to Singapore very quickly and, and talked to my wife that uh, this is the signal that I would be you know, in great trouble. And I asked her to uh, follow me. You know, I uh, told her my decision to defect uh, North Korea, and she accepted that. So next day, you know, we decided to leave Singapore and defect to Seoul. Uh, we went to uh, em embassy, South Korean embassy, and and at the time, uh, my bosses told me that it was reported to Kim Jong Il. Uh, so I took it very serious, you know, problem, and and also I sensed that uh, they, uh, f you know, finger pointed myself, you know, as the guy who leaked uh, this information. So uh, I decided to defect, and it didn't take uh, too much time for me to uh, come to Seoul. Uh, I was very critical of North Korean regime. Uh, and I blamed uh, on many cases, you know, uh, talking with foreigners uh, about North Korea and its system. Not leaders, of course, but, you know, but indirectly I talked very ill of, you know, North Korean system. And I thought that that kind of, you know, accusation or my behavior was the problem. <laughs> 그 국가안보전략연구소, 이, 그전에는 어, 안보정책연구소였죠. 여기서 일을 시작을 했고 지금까지도 한 연구소에서 북한 관련 그리고 국가안보 관련 일을 하고 있습니다. 어, 제가 일하는 연구소는 국가에서 운영하는 정부의 그 대북 그리고 국가안보 정책연구소입니다. 그외 기타 어, 대외 활동도 많이 하고 있는데요. 미국의 자유 아시아 방송의 칼럼 리스트로 어, 활동하고 있습니다. 에, 자유 아시아 방송의 김광진의 대동강 이야기라는 코너가 이제 마련돼 있고요. 그 코너를 통해서 북한 주모 그리고 우노를 통해서 북한 사회를 이해하는 그리고 북한 주민들에게 외부 정보를 알리는 그런 일을 하고 있습니다. <목소리>